thereof and away in the mock race. Indian Empress gets a nice good jump this time, heads the pack. And the one that uh, stood flat footed at the gate there was Toro Santo on settling down. It's Indian Empress and Toro Santo. I should say it is Colonel Hardy. On the outside is Green Channel around the fort and the one that's traveling really wide on the course there is Country Spile one being joined on the inside by Alexander Dumas. Down the rail there is Blair Neestone half seas is traveling 6-7 wide off the fence. Then we have the other runners of Alberta. Back to the leader, it's Indian Empress calling the shots close to about a length in front of Green Channel. These two are setting the pace in between horses. There is Colonel Hardy, a big gap of 10 lengths behind. There is a Blair Neestone for the three and a half behind is Alexander Dumas as they continue the journey towards the home turn and begin to negotiate the curve. Not much of an appreciable change in the order in the mock race. It's Indian Empress on a tight range calling the shots close to about a length in front of Green Channel. On the inside is Colonel Hardy as they straighten up for the final running. It's Indian Empress close to about five in front of Green Channel. Running third there is Colonel Hardy running Fort is Blair Neestone on the outside is Alexander Dumas with 200 to go. Indian Dumas, Indian Empress is clear close to about three, four lands in front of uh, Colonel Hart. is the one that's now coming up in the second position with final 100 to go. Indian Empress is well clear close to about five, six in front of Colonel Hardy. Indian Empress wins the mock race close to about two lands in front of Colonel Hardy. Then we have the other runners of Green Channel, Blair Neestone, Country Spile One. Then we went back to Alexander Dumas, Albert, and ending up last there was uh, Willpower, and the one that finished out of Willpower was Half Seas.